Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day, and today we are back again with another PWCC Weekly Review where I go through the top 100 soccer items auctioned off this week. I'm still used to saying PWCC, I guess it's Fanatics now. Nonetheless, uh, we're going to do it just like every week. Going to be a little bit lighter this week considering it's Nationals Week, or at least coming on the tail end of that. So, hopefully we make it quick. We'll see. If you enjoy these, do make sure to leave a like. Helps me help the channel. Would appreciate it greatly. Let's go ahead and hop on over. So starting at the bottom here at 58 bucks. This is one of the lower weeks, presumably because Nationals going on. Not as many people wanting to sell, considering eyeballs are going to be elsewhere. Sort of makes sense. Uh, with that said, again, hopefully it can be a little bit quicker, but uh, I make no promises. So we start with a Courtois PSA 9. Decently rare, goes for 60 bucks. A Roberto Carlos PSA 9 Mega Cracks as well, and a Leaf Erling Holland. Um... Beyond that, nothing all that crazy in this row. Uh, initially, I thought a 49 Ben Barrick might be a, a decent price, but actually, you can kind of find them raw on Toto fairly often for like four to five bucks. So that's a decent price considering the grade, I would say. In this row, a few high grades, uh, a 37 Manchester City and a PSA 9. I think that's with the King. I, I could be wrong. I just sort of gave it a quick glance. Yeah, okay, it does say King in the title. 2010, Messi and Xavi in a 10. And then we have a Michael Owen PSA 9. Above that, nothing crazy in this row. The Charlton typically go about that, maybe 70, 80 bucks. So it makes sense. Uh, this authentic Garincha Alifa goes for 70 bucks. And that's about what ones go for. Um, at least especially raw. Check the back, it was pretty beaten up. Uh, PSA 10 of this 2006 Ebra. We have another Ebra above that from the Champions of Europe. I, I do like this sticker, but they're fairly common. Goes for 74 bucks. Arteta here, uh, PSA 9 going for 74. Nice little premium presumably on that. Pop one of one and higher. At least to me, I would think a Michael Owen goes for more, but uh, of course being a coach can't hurt. Um, this Puyol patch from 2003 out of 400 and PSA 9 pop one of five goes for 74 bucks it felt like kind of a low price um when you go back and check comps the only other sale that's at least publicly available was for 150 on a best offer so you know half the price of that for a PSA 9 not too shabby in this row nothing uh, too crazy we have the 79 Maradona you have a 66 Yashin and this uh Shavio over here seem to have gone for a pretty decent prices of about what fives and sixes normally go for, and this has an MK designation. Uh, there's a little bit of writing on the back, but I don't know, maybe you can just erase it. It's in pencil, I'm pretty sure. Upper $70 row here. I was interested by this Paul Scholes. We haven't seen many of these go. Uh, I was kind of surprised at how few you can actually find in terms of comps. So there was only seven for 94 skulls. This PSA 5 went for 76, which compared to the PSA 4s that have gone lately, feels like a pretty decent price. There's also a 6 that went for 86 last year, so it feels like it's up a little, but uh, ultimately not a lot of sales to look at. Row above that, nothing too crazy. I do like this Muller from 1970 with the uh, sort of tab still on it there on the left-hand side. This is one that was kind of surprising, and when you go and look up comps even more so, this is 2003 David Beckham BGS 9 match-worn patch from uh, Upper Deck. That's out of, what, 250 Yeah, so uh, in terms of comps, their last best offer was last year, and it went for 300 There's no pick, but, you know, pretty high price. Um, seems like this was quite a steal comparatively to that. Now, when you do go back and sort of look, I guess for some reason there's like David Beckham, Kobe Bryant, Ichiro jersey cards that i don't know um but if you can sort of look through the comps eventually you can find some so here there's a, a rookie card out of 250 jersey card right here in 2006 going for 38 bucks this is sort of what i wanted to draw people's eye to in 2006 these were going for 30 to 40 bucks and since 2006 you would have had to have waited nearly 20 years and gone through a massive soccer card boom and then in a BGS 9, you're only going to pull 81 bucks on auction. Now, I don't think it's the best auction price. I don't think that's probably the best way to sell this either, if you want to get the biggest bang for your buck in terms of a seller. But it is crazy to think that if you held this from 2006, you could have paid 40 bucks, maybe 50, 55 all in once it's graded. And you probably net like 70 here. So, you know, you hold this for 20 years and you make 15, 20 bucks, you know, with a massive boom in between, I, I think that that's uh, at least concerning or something to think about. At, at least something to think about. That's what I urge people to consider when they're buying modern cards, especially. Because a lot of people now are like, oh, game-worn patches, that means it's going to be valuable, right? This is game-worn. From a time where game-worn wasn't really that common. Now, it's not a great patch, it's just a little red swatch, but... Nonetheless, you know, I think it's something worth considering, and uh, it seems like a pretty good price if you're the buyer there. 
Uh, PSA 4 Matthews Ardath here goes for 81. That's a pretty decent price. There's been a 5.5 recently that went lower than that, so 4 seem to have done a decent number. Um, not as many of those being flooded, although they are still fairly common. Um, I'm looking to pick up a high grade at some point, but uh, haven't uh, haven't been able to swing at one I like. So this instant card of Messi winning the World Cup. This is weird because there's going to be a few other comps. I, I don't know what to make of it, but 86 is the lowest of the comps we'll see. Above that, some uh, you know 2000s. Spain issues along with a 63 Eusebio, a, uh, a dairy release and a PSA 4. Then we have an Edgar Davids PSA 10, super strong grade there for 88 bucks. A uh, Tati here from 94, Merlin. Always love the look of that one, sort of reminds me of the Baresi with the mountains in the background and all that. In this row, we have the Pele that doesn't quite look like Pele, but uh, it's still labeled as Pele, going for 96 bucks. We have uh, your choice, you know, between Iniesta on a 250 from 2017 Chrome Purple in a PSA 10 or a Pulisic base rookie from 2016. Um, I will say I'm always pretty impressed by how these base rookies from Select do. I personally really like the 2016 Select release, especially the ones with the US kit. Once you go to the field level, field level is nice, don't get me wrong, but those are in Dortmund kit, which I'm not as big of a fan of personally. Um, but I am surprised what these do in terms of the base, because you can get, and I'm biased because I, I like them more than the base, but I don't know if it's biased, if that's just how I feel, uh, the out of 250 die cuts go for, and they're light blue, so it's sort of a color match, and those go for... 60 70 bucks in a psa 8 now of course lower grade but they're die cut and they're numbered and they're color match so always surprises me in terms of what the base still are able to do in a world where people hate base cards apparently again another comp here 103 for this uh, Lionel messi out of 22,000. i think they had it in the other listing but not that one for some reason you have a madrid badge from mega cracks 2004 psa 10 you also have this wayne rooney psa 8 from 2002 merlin with a green back uh yeah i did take a peek at that and uh this seemed like a, a decent sale last psa 4 was 20 bucks last psa 7 was 52 these were both last year so uh an eight getting a double the premium on a psa 7 feels pretty good in this row we have a mira tuta sport of eusebio on a psa 5 going for 103 pretty nice looking one there Eusebio is always pretty photogenic though, so you know it's uh, fairly easy if you get some good colors around him. Then we have a 2010 KDB and a BGS 7.5 going for 108. Feels like a pretty cheap price, but it's a BGS sticker, so that's sort of the uh, the natural state of BGS stickers, I guess. Up here we have a Pulisic booklet with uh, an auto and a patch. Then we have a 1958 Bremer Fockring. This is one with uh, Paley sort of hidden. He's back here, uh, hiding, hiding, hiding in the back of the photo, but he's pretty excited, so. Uh, still a Pele, still counts. PSA 3 goes for 115. Then we have a PSA 10 from 2010 of Messi from the Panini set. This 2007 Memo Cell Ronaldinho sort of uh, stuck out to me. I was hoping it'd go, you know, under the radar. It seemed like, you know, people were somewhat focused on it. But uh, a BGS 85, it looks really weird on the front. Uh, this is a cell from a film, basically, with Ronaldinho. You can sort of see his jersey peeking in there. But uh, if you do sort of move it, you can actually see Ronaldinho, and it looks kind of cool. These are just sort of unique, and uh, the cards are also pretty uh, uniquely designed in terms of the gold foiling or the gold etch that you have. I mean, even here on the back, sort of reminds me of, uh, there's like Burger King Pokemon cards, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that is at least what I think of when I see that. Then we have a PSA 9 of the Champions of Europe Messi. We have this 36 Pucel Leyes that goes for 138. Uh, pretty beaten up. I mean, the front is pretty, pretty battered. Um, the, this exact copy actually did sell a couple times on Probstein on eBay, I believe, uh, both times for around 100 I don't think it was a realist. I think it was sold separate occasions, but um, up a little bit in terms of prior comps to this one. This surprised me just because I haven't seen this Mbappe. I'm going to be honest. I don't just, you know, dig all of Mbappe stuff and go through it all. I don't really... PC Mbappe at all, so uh, it's always surprising to me, at least whenever I find new 2017 Mbappes I didn't know existed, uh, and it also sort of raises some concern in, t in terms of the newer players and what I'll find almost forever. Like if, uh, you know, Lamine Yamal becomes the guy, you'll probably see new cards of him every single 
week or month for a very long time because there is uh, there's enough to go around and there's just so many releases at this point. I mean, even in 2017, you're seeing it with Mbappe. Now, maybe this is one other people have on their radar. I haven't really seen it that much, but 144 for PSA 10 doesn't seem anything crazy. PSA 9 of R9 goes for 144. Uh, pretty decent price. I mean, like the 8s and the 7s, it feels like, in Mega Cracks don't really get too much love, but the 9 is sort of where it steps up. And then, of course, even more so at a 10. But it feels like 8 to 9 is actually the big step up. I think the 8 to 9 step is bigger than the 9s to 10s. Uh, we'll see an example sort of of that here in a bit. PSA 8 Ronaldo from 2006 goes for 150. Uh, this Beckham goes for 150 in a PSA 9. This is a lower pop. I mean, at least to me, R9 should go for more than Beckham. Uh, seems seems like that should be the case, but uh, of course, this does come down to pop, supply, demand, all that jazz. So Piola from 47 and Nina goes for 162. Uh, this one out of five Inception Bellingham didn't seem anything too crazy. Uh, Kylian Mbappe Renaissance 21 going for 168. And this Casillas PSA 10 pop one of two goes for 168 impressive sale but at the same time nothing crazy for a pop one of two i do wonder what the pops play out like in a psa 10 for some of these other guys presumably psa is not going to be easy so then we have a psa 9 david beckham from 95 merlin going for 168 uh, i did comp this in terms of past uh best offer sales on ebay now it is sort of weird because they both got bought at the same price and they both were on the same day they're not the same shirt they're not the same background so i don't know um but yeah 379 for both of those last one before that was 300 and then on auction 250 so the last auction was 250 so this is down a good bit from there um, but the best offer prices were much higher so I, I don't really know what to make of that feels like a decent price though uh, i hate overusing the word iconic but this is a 90s sticker that definitely sticks out to me if you had to uh, name some of the first ones that come to mind or some of the best looking uh, the 95 David Beckham is quite a stunner, in my opinion. Then we have a 1932 Alex James and a PSA 9. This is pop one of one, none higher, at least for the time being. Goes for 170. Then we have a Trinity Rodman and a Pedri. We saw this one run before. I think it got nearly the same price, um, but uh, the first sale, at least, that was shown was not all that impressive, at least compared to past comps, and seeing it get rerun is not uh, not a good sign. In this row, uh, we got a Hungry Team from 52, presumably a postcard. I, I didn't really check, but uh, definitely a desirable team desirable era and not a postcard so that's notable um pop one of one goes for 174 we have this neymar which i found interesting because i uh, haven't really studied neymar autos but it seems like his auto back in the day was worse than it currently is the one nowadays has a lot of effort in it and this is just kind of horrid so uh shout out to neymar for turning his auto act around hopefully some modern players can take a page out of his book in that regard this is what i was referencing earlier in terms of not understanding these comps at all you have one that goes for like 80 bucks and then one for 186 to me i would just assume that someone was shilling one of them to try to get the other two to go up maybe that's maybe that's the case i'm not quite sure you got the 74 iteraf pele with the bandage and uh, I, I like the design as well but the uh, the bandage just sticks out on that one psa 1 74 platini going for 186 feels like a pretty good price now it is an eye appeal and it looks really really good on the front uh, the back's just missing a little bit, so I can see why this got an IPL sticker and a pretty decent one at that. Uh, also seems to have gotten a decent price for the grade. Above that, we have a 61 Pushkas and a Pop 1 of 1 a PSA 3. A PSA 8 Robert Lewandowski action shot goes for 192, along with a Francesco Totti PSA 8. Then we have a Dixie Dean Pop 1 of 5 going for 198. I took a peek at last comps, and the first comp, I think it was 2022, 2023, around the end of 2022 into 2023, did like 200 bucks and then it sort of rose to three 400 and now it's come back down so it's interesting to see how that sort of moved uh this theory on arena psa 7 the last comps at least for a six were around the same price so this has sort of fallen a bit but there have been a lot of these coming to auction especially on pwcc uh there's been probably like two or three a month at this point and in lesser grade over time PSA 10, David Villa goes for 252, pop one of one. We have uh, a checklist as well going for 264, so that's how you know we've made it as a, as a soccer collecting culture when uh, <laughs> a checklist with Messi's name on it goes for 264 bucks. Of course, though, a pop one of one, so, you know, kind of impressive in that regard. This Hungman Sun goes for 288. I was interested because we never see this on PWCC. And uh, yeah, I was actually surprised that this was a really low sale. The other ones were, you know, five, six hundred, but it's been relatively around five to six hundred even back into 2022. So this is a sticker that hasn't really felt any hurt yet, uh, which is why I assume, you know, we're feeling a little bit of hurt now. Sun isn't the 
best of the best names. I mean, he's a tier down in terms of hobby status, but he definitely is a great player and has a huge following, so uh, I'm not disputing anything. I'm just sort of uh, making sense of it, in my mind at least. 2004 R9 PSA 10 goes for 300 uh, Above that, I did I did win one this week. Pretty proud. We have an Arta Guller Auto from 2023 Finest. Uh, this PSA 9 of Mia Ham. I actually looked it up because I've seen this card so many times now. I just wanted to know like what it's doing. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's a pretty similar graph to a lot of things where it was super, super high and it's come down a lot. Um, in terms of if it's sort of settled, it hasn't really. Uh, last year down 19%, last two years down 33, uh, six months 30. Yeah, so I mean, I, I guess over the last month maybe, you know, you can make the case, but uh, haven't really seen any stagnation since the boom. Uh, one thing that does sort of worry me about stuff like this, I mean, this is an SI for kids release, so it's in Sports Illustrated magazines. You can still get them uh, in decent grade, presumably. Now it is perforated, which makes it a little bit harder. But back in the day, it was 20 bucks. So, you know, being 320 now is still pretty good because most things, you know, generally I think a 3x to a 5x is about the the right spot to be in terms of what things used to be to where they are now. That that seems to be the average, depending on what you're looking at. Um, so being up like 15x is is not too bad. Was lucky enough to snag the 55 Vecchi Grincha, which uh, I, I've been looking for one for a bit now. It's a PSA 1. A lot of them are. I think it's like a pop 25 and there's maybe 80 graded total. So I will say it's not the best looking one, but I thought it was a decent looking one. Uh, on the front, these are usually fairly miscut. So to have a little sliver on the bottom isn't the worst. It's a little bit weird to me whenever it's on the left or the right. Um, so I like the centering in that regard. Back's a little beaten up. Colors aren't as vibrant as they could be, but they're still pretty good. And it's uh, it's got a little, like, fuzziness with, like, a watercolor thing going on here. Someone might have soaked it just a smidge too long. But generally, I like the look and uh, love the sticker. This is about the same price they were pre-boom. Like, there's a 2016 comp for an authentic for, like, 200 or something. So, I mean, a PSA 1 at 300 now doesn't feel bad terrible at all and happy to add it um it's not technically a Grincher rookie this is 55 he does have 54 and 53s he has two 53s but there's no public comps of those I do have the 54 I got that earlier this year so I was really excited about that and happy to add the veggie along with it it's a weird situation where the earlier ones are so unattainable that you know the 55 almost gets classed as a rookie and i can understand it, it also looks really good but yeah i thought 312 was uh, was a fair price they have gone as low as like 200 for some worse copies and then you know as high as like four or five hundred at times depending uh, so 312 didn't feel too bad. Above that, 2010, PSA 10, Lionel Messi goes for 324. Um, not going to take a peek at this, but I am interested if any of these PSA 10s had to rerun, because there were some PSA 10s that went for crazy numbers. So um, something to look out for if you are someone that's after those, just to confirm. Um, we have a 2023 Tops now. So this is one where I was wrong last, I think it was last week, but uh, I thought these were unnumbered. Luckily enough, we're not in the days of unnumbered Tops now. So that's great. Um... There's not unnumbered tops now parallels out there. There actually is a number kind of hiding up here. But uh, 336, again, feels like a pretty strong number for a tops now of a, of a prospect. Um, comparatively, and this is sort of like, we'll see some other cards. I think I'm in crazy land sometimes, and, uh, you know, maybe I'm just out of touch. But a 2004 Mega Cracks PSA 10 Zidane for 336. I take that every single day of the week over the Lamina Mall. Uh, I take it over the cards we'll see above it, too. So I thought that this was an interesting one in terms of set collecting. Um, you know, I know 2017 Topps Chrome has a has a wide and far and deep fan base, um, but a gold Bruno Fernandez out of 50 PSA 10, a pop one of 14, mind you, or you could get a pop one of eight Zidane in a PSA 10. For me, that, that feels like a no-brainer. Um, now, again, I'm not a big Topps Chrome collector, so I will state that. But even if I was, I mean, unless, if you are collecting the full set, hey, I, I get it, I understand it. But if I was collecting, I'd probably just sort of go after the big ones um, and then fill in the cracks as you go. But filling in the cracks at 360 bucks for Bruno Fernandez, that isn't the best. I mean, there's orange, there's red, there's a one of one. I mean, I don't think he has autos, but you get the idea. I think that Zidane at 336 is a pretty banging deal, but it's actually kind of high. There was one on eBay that went for 215, so you can get them even cheaper than that. And uh, at least, you know, for my money, I'd be interested in what other people think. Would you rather go 2017 Tops Chrome Fernandez or a 2004 Mega Crack Zidane? 
I'm interested to see how the 2004 Mega Crack stars do play out over time. I'd assume PSA isn't going to be insanely forgiving in terms of PSA 10s, but at the same time, they are a bit more common. Like, they're not terribly hard to find the cards themselves, but in a 10, uh, definitely a bit more difficult. A Grealish going for 372 here is Kaboom PSA 10 from 2019. We have a PSA 8 2004 Mega Cracks going for nearly 500, which is about what they do, depending on which card it is. Sicker Verlag Pele from 65, PSA 8, fairly common release, but PSA 8, good grade, uh, goes for 552. An orange PSA 10 Mbappe goes for 750. Not the most coveted of the parallel, surely, but uh, not easy to get in a 10, the optic set, a lot of off-center copies, and that's beyond, you know, whatever natural sort of uh, damage occurs. This was a, a weird one. So 1963 Valida back Eusebio Pop, 1 of 11, a PSA 5. Uh, took a peek at the comps, and this one went for 750. Last one was 1400. One before that was a thousand. So, kind of a low sale. Now there was a eye appeal sticker on this one, so that's something of note. But yeah, I mean, even before that, back in 2022, this is one again that hasn't really fallen a crazy amount. I mean, even back in 2019, uh, down here, if I pull it up, a comp in 2019 went for 448. So definitely not up a crazy amount. And uh, something I did find interesting on this one, I was just sort of looking at it to see. Uh, what the back was looking like, and the back's upside down. So I, I don't know how rare that is, um, but yeah, I sat here and just clicked back and forth a bunch, and the back's upside down. So I went and looked at like 10 other copies. I, I couldn't find that on anything. Maybe that happens from time to time, but uh, 750 for an upside down back, I, I don't know what type of premium that adds. If it adds a premium at all, I don't know how people would feel about that. I'd be interested in your thoughts down below. What uh, what, what sort of premium do you put on an upside down back? What is what is that worth to you? I, <laughs> it's a weird question and wasn't even labeled. I don't know if that would have helped, hurt, whatever. Um, but uh, just sort of found it and thought I'd share up here at 1970, Bisvalida PSA 7.5, Jared Muller. So I looked this one up, uh, and that was the, what was it, uh, third highest sale ever for the 70s Panini World Cup stickers. There was a PSA 7 prior that did 800, and another PSA 7 that did 1,000. So 7.5, it gets 780. Um, pretty good price. Uh, wasn't graded to too recent 65 million cert there. And uh, of course, again, take your pick in terms of auto. Which one do you rather have? So we have a Pele rookie with him, Garincha, and Yashin from 1958 Verlag. I will say I, I don't like that the Pele auto is taking up a lot of the, the sticker. Also uh, sort of just recolored Yashin's face and arm. Um, but you do have uh, Garincha, Yashin, and Pele off over here. And an auto rookie for... Uh, 840 it doesn't feel didn't feel like a bad price to me i mean you know almost any pele auto by default is like two to three hundred so to be able to get a rookie with three greats signed by pele kind of cool you know when it is signed over people and all over the action shots a little worse but i take it every day of the week over this one so we have a psa 6 of a lamina mall so it has a 10 auto but you know i mean how much does that matter PSA 6, 10 auto, goes for nearly 1100 uh, If you needed any more of a sign that we're in La Mina Mall Mania, there you go. And then we get into the top six. So we have a Ramos PSA 9 that sold for 1600 Pop a 1 of 13, just one higher. These don't come up all that often, especially in high grades. So last uh, three in terms of comps were 1000 1500 and 2000 Actually, this is based on price. So if we go by date... Uh, this one's 1600 last one was 1000 one before that was 2000 So this has not really dropped all that much since the boom. All-time high price being 2000 down, you know, 20% right now, which isn't anything crazy, and also up, you know, nearly 30% from the last eBay sale. So decent sign there, uh, fairly rare also in that grade. We have uh, two cards that you can't really comp. Um, one is a playing card, the other one a, a nice caricature here of 66 Pele from the Monty Gum release in a PSA 2. I could kind of find some other star players within the set, but it isn't one that you see all that often. It's pop one of one, just too higher. So gets a really good price at 1620 for what is seemingly a rare Pele. Then you have a 1960 green border. So typically these are orange. This one is green. This is a playing deck of cards, and uh, I think Pele is the ace, of course. SGC3 goes for 1700 This was rerun. Last time it sold for 2100 Hopefully it, it gets paid again. Uh, I follow the seller on IG, and he was sort of mentioning how it had to rerun. So presumably he's not the, the guy doing it. And I think that's something that's important for people to know is that, sure, some people show their own stuff but i do think that a lot of shilling that happens is other people with similar stuff that want the prices to stay high or to even go higher for the things that they own so there are other people with vested interests that is not just the seller the seller is the easiest one to think of but 
there are others. And then into the top three. So we have a full Brazilian row here. We have a Jairzinho rookie from 1964 Quisho. This, uh, this is worthy of opening up just for the back as well. Uh, really good front though, I will say. One of my favorite in terms of uh, Brazilian stickers, especially from the 60s. It's such a beautiful sticker, the background, the overlay, just uh, looking absolutely beautiful. And uh, the back is not disappointing either. So uh, <laughs> pretty good one. Uh, doesn't seem to be stuck. I mean, there's some discoloration, but no real signs of wear. It gets a three, uh, despite being horrendously off center. But uh, this is a pop one of one, just too higher. It is a rookie as well. And uh, in terms of pricing, that is the highest price Jarzinho we've ever seen. The only other ones even close. I guess there was one for a thousand in 2021, and then 500 in 2022 so that is two to four times any other comps you'll find for any other Jarzinho stickers so pretty decent sale also a pretty decent sticker as well uh, beyond that we have a 58 Pele here this is a four of clubs which you can't really search so finding comps for that's insanely hard the only thing I could find that was somewhat decent was this PSA 5 of the four of clubs that sold for 4700 so this seems like a pretty good sale compared to the PSA 5 sale but I, I don't think that this is something that people are paying extreme premiums on being that it's a, a a playing card I, I just don't think it has as much going for it it also doesn't look significantly different depending on if it's a one or a five i mean this looks fairly the same not as white but still seems like a pretty good price pop one of one six higher and then we finish it off with another 1970 panini sticker this being the pele in a psa 85 pop one of one three higher goes for three thousand and uh, in terms of all-time high prices excluding the red and blue backs um, we have had an $8,400, a $6,100, a $38, and then we get to $35, $33, and $3,000. So this is one of the highest. Um, there were some higher, especially during the boom for PSA 8s at six and 8000 So a decent bit of a haircut, but uh, still not a terrible price in terms of one of the best of the best of the 1970 Pele. So, so that's it for this week. Um, wasn't as heavy hitting, but it was, you know, something that did have some bright spots in between. Player collecting was alive and well throughout the whole thing, so I thought it was a pretty good week. Set collecting as well, a lot of sets in there too. Looking at next week, we have, uh, you know, a pretty strong start here uh, with the Topps Chrome out of 50 gold Messi and the green Vinny. 2017 Iniesta already at 525, making waves. We have an Este PSA 7 of Messi. They are, uh, I do believe at least PSA is grading this now. We have a Varela from the same set as the Jam Moreno, I'm pretty sure it was. We saw just last week. We have a PSA 10 Beckham. One of one, Rashford, and orange Mbappe prism. Pretty high grade Bobby Charlton PSA 7. I will say, not that my word matters, but I am very annoyed by how the pictures look on the site. Like, there there are a lot of sort of user interface things that upset me. Uh, one of them being that these pictures are so small for no reason. I mean, this is a normal size PSA slab, and it's taken up half of the available window of which it should be showing. Not only should it show, I should be able to, like, drag my mouse over and have it, like, appear even bigger. Hopefully they get there, but like some of them are egregious too. I can't find any here, but there were some in the last auction that we went through where I wanted to mention, I meant to mention it. Uh, even when you go to like look at them here, like if I go to scroll in before on PWCC, I used to have like a nice slow scroll. Now I just scroll once, I'm already way too far in and I can't scroll in anymore and I can't scroll out. Like it's just, <sighs> they've ruined something that I, I dearly loved and I hope we get it back, but man, it's... <laughs> It's brutal. Like, I don't know why they make these changes that are so unnecessary. Ugh. Anyways, I mean, gosh, man, the edges on that look pretty rough for a 7. I will say, like, the bottom edge, the left edge, the top edge. Presumably it's fine other than that, but uh, just something I saw of a note. We have a Grail Erling Holland. We have an authentic with a, an alteration here, presumably trimming, of the 78 Maradona. And, uh... And yeah, some goodies towards the bottom. I think there's, yeah, there's a, a Ronaldo here from Flawless. You got a Messi Revolution. You got a tie-dye Ronaldo as well. Tons of goodies. Looking forward to it, and hopefully you are too. But that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like. Would love to hear your thoughts on what sold high, low, maybe something you grab as well. Did record this at night, post-auction, so the lighting, of course, a bit different. But hopefully I can get this up early in the morning and uh, have that ready for you. If you enjoy it, do make sure to, again, leave a like, let me know. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this as soon as I go live. But with that said, hopefully you have a wonderful day, and uh, peace.